So in other words, it's very hard for us to learn new skills because our idea of learning itself is backwards. Let's go over the theory again. Being and becoming. Becoming is the process of changing your being. Now, how important is being in learning and life in general? Most people think that having is the important thing. If I have something, then I can do something with it, and then I can think about it, and then I can know something, and then maybe being is in there someplace down near the bottom. But that's not the way it really is. The way it really is, is that being is fundamental. If you have the being of, let's say, an artist, then you automatically know how to express yourself and you can think in terms of your artistic media and disciplines and so on, and then you can easily do your art, and then you can have the things that come from doing your art. Or if you're interested in leadership, by having the being of a leader, automatically the doing and having and so forth of a leader will come to you. And with regard to enlightenment, if you can synthesize the being of an enlightened person, then automatically all the rest will be added to you. In other words, being is senior to everything else. Change your being and you change your life. If you want to change your life, if you want to learn something or become something, then you have to change your being. And of course, the problem is we haven't been taught about being. We, ha we don't understand much about becoming. These are foreign words to us because our educational system has buried topics having to do with ontology, ontics, phenomenology, experiential learning, and so on. They have put them away where we can't get at them, where we have no access to them, where we don't have the vocabulary to even approach them. And mainly, they have been relegated to the graduate and postgraduate levels of education. So very few people get that far. Therefore, very few people know about issues concerning being. What to speak of becoming. Becoming is very esoteric. Really, it's only covered nicely in the teaching of the Buddha. That's why we source everything from the suttas, the Theravada suttas, which are the original teachings, the original sermons, actually, of the Buddha to his monks.